What's going on everyone? Tech Tasha here back with another top five city of tweaks and mods. This is another one I'm at it again. This is video number three. So be sure you watch the last two videos. I'll have them linked down below in the description. Let's get right to it with my number one pick is Lock Plus. It is intertwined with Lock HTML. It's a theming for your lock screen. As you can see, I'm gonna show you guys my lock screen. You got customized lock screen, so you can customize it in so many different ways. I'll show you guys a quick snippet of all the different themes you can apply to. This one, it's just a simple time and it adds like a crown with a little animation at the beginning. There's no app that does it better than this. Uh, to activate the themes, you would swipe on the right side of your screen to the left and you'll see a nice little menu section here. If I can keep the lock screen on long enough to show you, you'll have load theme, reset theme, refresh weather, settings, download theme, and view themes. Now, to show you guys all the different themes, like I stated, just click on load themes and it'll prompt you with all the different themes. There are so many. Now, there's so many different ways you can edit this. You can do it with your own wallpaper. You can do it with the wallpaper that's on here. You can move the time around and different widgets. It's so complex, it's awesome. So you can go from just starting from the beginning and just pick a theme, or you can really full-fledged geek out and create your own theme. Now, when you download this, you're gonna have to have Lock HTML4 if you're on iOS 9.3.3, because Lock Plus is what applies all those themes within the settings of Lock HTML4. As you'll see, you'll have the enable button here at the top. You can select the widget, which is Lock Plus, which allows you to browse all those themes and install them. After that, you locate the widget. Anytime you're going to place the widget, I always recommend just to say above notification. The basics here, you can show what you want to hide on the lock screen. You got your widget actions. A lot of stuff to geek out on, guys. So I don't want to bore you guys to death with all the settings, but this is Lock Plus and Lock HTML4. So be sure to check those out on the Cydia. Now with AppDie 2, it's pretty sweet. It changes the whole UI interface to accent the color that you choose. The color I chose is almost like a baby blue. So it changes everything from the notification to your little shortcuts tab down here to your keyboard to the accents of everything on the keyboard to the notifications so it does a very good job as far as adding a nice little theme Only recommended now if you go into the settings this is where all the magic happens you got system settings and you got application settings so you can customize just the specifically to the system or you can customize an application individually you would obviously select whatever app you want to choose. I mostly focus on the system. That's the main reason why I got this app. So below that, you're going to have enable the application. And underneath that, you have your global color. Now what the global color does is just to keep it simple. Now if you want one specific color on everything, you would go from there, tap on it, pick whatever color it is. Let's say I want red, go like that. And it automatically, as you've just seen, it changes the accents to red. Awesome app. I love the little detail that they added as far as everything. Look at that, it just changes right to red. So pretty sweet app. Now if you want to really get geeked out, you can do it individually on specific things. You can enable just the keyboard, you can do the status bar, SMS, all that good stuff. Folders, volume, so be sure to check that out, app die too. All right, so what app number three is Floater. Very minute app, it doesn't really do a whole lot, but it adds a nice little touch, which I do like. It rounds off the edges. So as you can see in my notification bar, it gives me a little room on the sides, and it also at the end, it rounds off all around the whole notification bar. Also does that with everything from your little shortcuts. As you can see, it's very small, like I said, but it rounds off the edges. Adds a nice little elegant look, personal preference, but I do enjoy it. Also, what folders normally it's a box rounds off all the edges and it does it to multiple different things like i said it's not a big change but it's a nice little elegant look so that is floater be sure to check that out guys so number four on my list is cover flow 2 this is another simple app but i do like the little touch that it adds it adds a nice little color scheme to your music as you can see, it activates to your music, your lock screen for your music, and Spotify as well, which I use a lot. So with that, you can, I'll show you guys a quick little example of what that does. We'll go into my music, so we'll play any type of random song real quick. And because the album art is mostly white, it adds white to the bottom of that. Now when we change a song, you'll see that the colors change as well. Because the album art is mostly yellow, it changes the whole theme to yellow. This one's like a light grayish color, changes it to that. Same thing, the top part's mostly white, green, blue. Nothing big, but it is a nice little touch. Last but not least is Blurry Badges. This is another simple little app, but it adds a nice little touch. Now all these little simple apps, they're all small little tweaks and mods, but when they're all combined together, it makes your phone look unique. What it is, it changes the badges of all your notifications. So 
with your emails, when you got a new email or text message, your notification badge is actually uniquely different than the stock notification badge. So when you access the settings of Blurry Badge, it's very simple. Can't really get confused here. You obviously have your border size, border color, badge tint alpha. So what that is, that's the actual color behind the number. So I got mine, the lower you go, obviously the less translucent the color is going to be. So obviously if you go all the way down, if you couldn't see it kind of just changed right away the tint, less translucent. And then if we go into settings again, the knob all the way up, go home, as you just seen the animation, the transparency went all the way up so now it has no color. So it's a very simple app, but it does add a nice little touch, and that is blurry badges. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I was able to show you guys some new tweaks and mods for Cydia. Like I said, I'm on iOS 9.3.3 on the latest jailbreak. If you do have any questions or concerns, comment down below. If you have any recommendations, comment down below. If you wanna conversate, comment down below. With that said, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me put out more content. Let's me know you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and share the video if you have any friends who have iPhones. Share it, share it with the world. Teamwork makes the dream work. So with that said, y'all stay nerdy. I'm out. Peace.